same way a human being takes in impressions from everything and turns them into something higher, into aesthetic beauty. Yeah. So that's the basic principle. And then on that, how can we take this place we have, the barn, the various artists who have excellent qualities and abilities and turn it into a movement or a motion, a vectoral direction which enriches human beings, enriches this area. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, that was very good. So we don't have a set idea. This is what it's going to look like and every day. It's changing so much and evolving. You know, what artists can we bring in? Are we talking just visual arts or if, you know, then it became inviting poets to come and read, give readings and Will it include dramatic arts? And will it include art classes or just art shows? All these, you know, all of this is evolving as we play around with it, even as we fix up the old barn, which is going to be the center of events. We discover more what its limitations are or what's possible in it. Yeah. So, copper colored mountain arts, the idea is a human enrichment zone a place, a zone where human beings explore what it means to be human in the context of being fully awake, aware, and interacting with this, the world through our sense fields. What happens when we become more spiritually alive and our sense fields begin to become vehicles for uh, internalizing and externalizing beauty? What happens? We don't know what. This is the experiment of being human all together, so who knows? Who knows? Mm -hmm.